So I think we're doing a good job there. We might need to put a compressor over that, but at the moment I'm just going to automate this. Um, stay away from too much detail too soon in your mixing process because what what will happen is you'll be focusing on details without really listening to the song. Now, uh, here, I mean, we're only focused on this section, but I'm trying to get to that first first chorus in a way that's that I think is compelling and interesting. So I'm watching Mixed with the Masters in a video on, on Tony Maserati, and he just said something that's kind of crazy that he said it because I was literally in a session with a uh, producer, my homie Brandon, last night, and we were just talking about different mixing concepts and how, you know, some engineers will focus in on small sections at a time when mixing and really tweak that section and then move to another section. Whereas you got other engineers like Michael Brower who basically loops the song and mixes, like he doesn't stay in one section, he listens to the song all the way through and just makes moves as the song is playing and it just is on a continuous loop and he never breaks that. Not to say that one way is right versus another way, I'm more of a person that kind of deals with a section at a time, but I think what's important about the mindset is that you gotta focus on building the song. You gotta focus on building movement and remember that you know, remember the, the purpose of the song and how it makes you feel and how you want the song to make the audience feel. You know, Tony Maserati, he keeps saying, I'm feeling like I'm getting what I'm looking for. I'm feeling, he keeps using the word, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I feel like. And that's really important, especially in, in the age of, you know, mixing in the box and all the plugins that we have. And it's really easy to like see a tutorial of somebody doing something and then visually you want to recreate that you know you want your plug-in settings to be you know similar to this person's instead of just remembering that you know we we all get into music because of how it makes us feel and um you know uh, what i what i've learned from watching a lot of these tutorials and you know going to the the seminar with uh, mixed by ali is that a lot of people aren't that technical you know if they're trying to explain their process you'll hear a lot of times like yo I don't even know what this plugin does it just feels right or I don't know how I landed on this plugin I just you know demoed a lot of stuff and this one is what felt right you know and, and to me that's why I have a hard time you know putting out templates with you know plugins already set on it and stuff like that it's because no mix is going to be the same and, and you don't want to get stuck into a process of like, okay, I, I only use this EQ, this compressor. You know, I have some some things that are kind of go-tos as far as, you know, I, I usually start with, you know, like a Neve 1073 EQ on a vocal. You know, I, I, that's what I would start with, but that doesn't mean that it feels right for that particular song. And if the feeling isn't right, then you gotta switch it. Don't just stick with these settings and this plugin because so and so uses it and it worked for that song and his mix sounded, his or her mix sounded tight on that particular song. So just keep in mind of the feel and you know, it, it's something that I've started doing is writing down adjectives of the, that pop in my head whenever I first hear the rough. So that way, you know, whenever I'm mixing, I'm keeping those words in my mind. Um, and I'm trying to achieve those feelings instead of, okay, what's technically right? Well, I know in a vocal I have to cut, it, you know, around, I don't know, 300, 400, because that's what you're supposed to do. I know that I'm supposed to put a high shelf because that's what you're supposed to do. I know I'm supposed to high pass because that's what you're supposed to do. Well, what if the song doesn't have bass in it? And there's nothing really eating up the low end. Are you still gonna make the same high pass move as you would if there's an 808 in the song? Like you, you gotta you gotta move based off of feeling. And you know, um, the other day I mixed a song called Warmth, and just based off the title, it was kind of crazy because the song had like I see I see I see everything in colors. I see letters in colors, numbers in colors. I hear sounds, and uh, every sound has a color to me. And it was crazy because the song was called Warmth, but the whole song felt cold to me. 
So it was like, it was fun for me to get in and mix the song and make the song found, sound warm to match the title, even though the topic of the song and the instruments used in the song felt kind of like winter. It felt cold. It felt like a, a, a cold tone to me. So um, it, I say that to just simply say it's really important to to keep you know the overall feel and, and know what you're going for as far as how it makes you feel not necessarily i saw this person eq this way i saw a tutorial of this person eq in this way this person mixes into a limiter set like this like yeah you want to you want to understand concepts so that way you have a lot of tools in your in your bag that you can pull out um, to achieve the overall feeling that you want so just keep in mind the feel of whatever you're going for for every, for every single song that you're mixing. Make that your primary focus and you will get better. That's something that I've really been challenging myself with and it's helped out a lot. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. I'ma pull up in your side of town. You know I'm here with my windows down. Park it, this park it, no cops around. Hit it too hard, now you fouling now. Wrap up a plate and I'll take a bow. Count up my money to different routes. If you're too far, then it's out of bounds. You sketchy or goosey, I gotta bounce. Yo, just got back from a meeting uh, with some of the homies going over some stuff that we've got coming up. Um, some new services that I'm offering within the next week, and then um, some potential things that we're trying to line up down the road so yeah good morning had a good meeting um had a good workout this morning we hit leg day uh just 10 by 10 squats so super high volume i'm already hurting from that um but it was solid so now it's uh almost 3 30 i'm working on a mix for the homie marks uh who you guys saw in the the studio and the video i posted that was like a 10 hour session uh of me and him locked in uh this is a song that he's dropping for 420 so uh getting that finished up for him just sent him a text just kind of clowning him on his uh the way he sent the stems like we've been going back and forth he tried to send the stems he didn't know how um basically he didn't have the stems tracked out the full length of the song you guys know when an artist sends you stems and like the audio files are basically just the length of whatever audio was on that particular track so all of the vocals are all like starting from zero and all playing at the same time that's what he did so um but yeah this is a song he recorded on his own at his crib uh so uh, we've been going back and forth on that i had him s finally just send me the session and i i stemmed everything out for him so yeah getting that knocked out right now and then uh it's Easter weekend, it's Kendrick, my daughter, it's her first Easter, obviously, and we're going to her great-grandparents' house um, so she can, like, dye some eggs. She has no idea what's going on, but, yeah, starting the, the tradition early, I guess. So, yeah, about to hop into this mix. Bitch, I got packs, I love blowing loud. I'm on some young women, girl, scout. If it ain't thrash, you can toss it out. Just be so fat, that's the right amount. Smoked out the whip, it's so foggy now. We riding around in the sun and now. Boys don't patrol on the side of town. They wait till we dead or we wildin' now. Woo, 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 woo. Shit, there go the siren sound. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. A lot of times, if I'm dealing with a two track to kind of open it up, I'll use this center plugin from Waves. And I kind of push, if you could see, I push the highs. Oh, where's the mouse here it is i'll push the highs out to the sides a little bit i'll push the lows to the mids a little bit the punch all the way to the mids and then just to make the beat feel wider i will boost the side about a db or so um, so i really like that plugin and then following that i'll use the fab filter pro q and i'll just kind of go in the mid range and find frequencies that feel like they are kind of clashing with the vocals so a lot of times i'll just go to a frequency and i'll use that little solo button just so i'm hearing the hearing the frequencies that are selected then i'll just move up and down the spectrum with the vocals playing and see what's rubbing and what's kind of conflicting with the vocal and then i'll notch that out just a little bit and then i like to boost the sides 
um, in the mid range as well, just to give the, the beat a little bit more life and presence if I didn't have the luxury to mix it myself. They hit the UE and pulled around like, officer, what is the trouble now? They ain't want nothing but on my loud. And a slap on the wrist and we dripping now. I spark my joint and I start to pow. Like, why I pull up on this side of town? I'ma pull up in your side of town. You know I'm here when my window's down. Park it, then spark it, no cops around. Hit it too hard, now you fouling now. Wrap up a plate and I'll take a bow. Count up my money to different routes. If you too far, then it's out of bounds. You sketchy or boozy, I gotta bounce.